Hi, this is Ben Marshall, and I'm here to introduce you to the range of Pro 2 Class D Mini amplifiers. As you can see, there's a fair number of models in the range, so I'm going to do just a quick overview of these ones today, and possibly a rough idea of where you might use them, but uh, let your imagination run free. You've probably got better ideas than I do as well. Let's start with the little Pro 1358. This little one has an infrared remote control, has an IR sensor on the front, has an IR loop through and input at the back as well, so you can run it through a distributed infrared system pretty easily. And it's got about 15 watts at four ohms RMS, uh, sorry, 15 watts RMS at four ohms. So drive a pair or two pairs of speakers at low level background sound. So the way I think of this is probably something like a TV remote control, uh, so TV speakers. So your outside zone where you want a pair of in ceilings or a couple little box speakers, this little one should work brilliantly for that. Really, really useful little thing. All right, moving on a little bit, we've got a little cluster. So this cluster is the Pro 1328 range. So all of these have got a microphone input. You can see one, two, and three on those. They've got an auxiliary input, generally speaking one auxiliary input, running about 15 watts RMS into 4 ohm outputs, so that's four, um, 15 watts per channel. So great, again, for a pair of speakers or a couple of pairs of speakers. Um, differences are obviously a little single box that you can mount directly onto a wall, a wall plate version. And then this one at the back here has a little standalone volume control, which is kind of cool. Uh, connects up via RJ45, so Cat5 style connection. Yeah, volume on, volume off, and uh, yeah, quite a useful little beastie. I tend to see these ones in things like small function rooms, so small meeting space perhaps, where you just want to plug a microphone in occasionally to amplify it. Maybe do a bingo call or something similar. Um, and yeah, the ones with the volume controls are obviously quite useful to be able to locate everything away in a rack and then be able to dial it up and down as you go. Um, yeah, useful little thing. Cafes maybe, occasional voiceovers, that sort of stuff as well. So that's the 1328 range. Now, this is the last model of the outgoing Pro 1351s. So this is a little Bluetooth uh, receiver amplifier uh, unit. So again, you've got 15 watts RMS into four ohms by two channels. Um, so good, again, for a pair of background speakers, little box speakers, in ceiling, something like that. Got Bluetooth and auxiliary selectable from the front panel. It's already on auxiliary, that's why it didn't click. And yeah, basic little volume control and 12 volt DC power. So in theory, this could be something like a caravan amplifier if you wanted to. Uh, it could also be a small cafe, a shed system, something like that, just with Bluetooth. Really simple, um, pretty economical and good for a pair of speakers. Now, when they, the factory decided to put those things together, they, <laughs> they boosted the power and they came up with this one. So we've got two models here, the 1439, which is on the left, Pro 1439, and on the right is the Pro 1430 WP. Obviously a wall plate version here. So the wall plate version, it's probably its direct comparison, is to the 1328 wall plate WP. No microphone input on these ones, but more useful for a little bit of extra power in a venue or at home. So put one of these things into, say, a bedroom wall, power it up by a 12 volt, uh, 12 volt, 24 volt. I can't actually remember now. Um, you've got 24 watts RMS, so you've gone up significantly in power. That's again into four ohms and in uh, stereo channel output. So yeah, pair of speakers or two pairs of speakers, pretty simple. They've all got unique IDs, so you could put, you know, one in three bedroom, you know, one each in three bedrooms in the house and everybody has their own unique ID number, so they can listen to music in their own venue. Also has a unique sort of three minute timeout feature so that if you haven't received a signal in a few minutes, it'll switch itself into a, um, like a, uh, like a, a pairing mode so that you can come back and connect back up to it again. So you're not hanging on to the Bluetooth connection for too long if you're walking out of range or if you wanna go from one room to another one, it makes it easier to make that happen. So, yeah, nice little unit. This brother unit is obviously a standalone little amplifier. Again, with 24, 24 watts RMS into two channels. Um, yeah, four ohms into two channels. Yeah, gold-plated, banana post bindings. You know, got a DAC built into it, so you could plug your TV's output into this one. 
or headphone jack in or something similar and you've got a secondary line out as well so you can go from this into another room if you wanted to. Um, the SPDIF, the digital, uh, the DAC on board is stereo only so if you're doing something like a TV sound you need to make sure that your TV can uh, you know, turn it into stereo LPCM audio rather than 5.1 channel Dolby Digital or something similar. Um, yeah, great little box. Um, Bluetooth, really good range on this one as well. Um, so I think they are quoting something like uh, 20 to 30 meters at least, which, you know, not bad at all. Um, yeah, neat little unit and even, ooh, yes, fabric on the outside. Very nice. All right, moving on a little bit. Now we come into slightly more you know, feature rich versions. So this is a miniature, probably a miniature amplifier, like a receiver that you'd buy from Yamaha or from Cambridge Audio or somebody else like that. Again, low power. So we're talking 15 watts RMS into four ohms by two. Great for background surround, small zone, cafe, something similar. But this one has a DAC built into it. It has coax digital or optical on the back. You've got three inputs. So if I switch this around, you can see we've got input one is our digital inputs, coax and optical. Input two is a stereo analog input and 3.5 mil is your input three. So plug, phone, tablet, PC, you know, FM tuner, another Bluetooth receiver, something else like that into this one or your TV directly in. Again, stereo PCM only. You've got a loop out so you can run to a secondary amplifier or to a bigger PA system if you wanted to, and your speaker outputs there, including on the front, a headphone out. But simple button press for input selection, really simple little stereo amplifier, and great for, you know, let's say a shed where you wanted to plug in your phone occasionally, where you plugged in your TV in the shed for a bit of audio when you want to. Mm, yeah, or a small cafe where they mostly listen to you know, an iPad with music on it or a, I don't know, there's quite a few options that you could put onto this one. Uh, taking it a different direction, so instead of a single uh, multi-channel input, now we've got a single input with loop through out and multi-zone output. This is up to four zones worth of 15 watts per channel, four ohms, etc. the stuff we were talking about before. So four zones worth of sound. So for a commercial installer doing something for a display home where they just want to run some music around the place, but a single Bluetooth receiver or an MP3 player or something similar into the input and then out to the four zones around the place. So one could be a set of outside speakers through the bedrooms, kitchen, living room area, whatever else you wanted to do. Now, that obviously works for a normal domestic home, not just a display home, but for I think for a small restaurant or small bar or small cafe where you've got different dining areas and different distances away or different types of speakers, dialing up and down the power makes it very, very easy. So convenient little multi-zone amplifier. And last but certainly not least, we have a four-channel multi-zone amplifier with multiple inputs as well. So think that one plus that one equals this one. Yeah, fantastic box this one. So one extra feature here, microphone input as well, taking this up to four. You've still got DAC, so you've still got the option of your optical toss link or coaxial inputs. You've got analog one, two inputs and a dynamic microphone input. If you wanted to plug something like a condenser microphone or a wireless receiver or something else, you may need a little booster or something else in between a loop out so you can go to another amplifier to another one if you wanted to and you've got four uh, yeah four zones of speaker outputs again 15 watts in RMS into four, uh, four ohms stereo so great for background to medium level sound around a small venue so again a cafe where you occasionally wanted to do a bit of a voiceover or a bingo call or you know do a small presentation um, small function venue with you know small rooms boardrooms, that sort of thing. It's really a fantastic little unit. So um, yeah, really, really impressive. I hope you'd like a look at the whole range. And just to give you a quick <laughs> look back down again, we go all the way from four zone amplifiers, single input, multi-input, stereo amps, Bluetooth receiving amplifiers, high powered, medium powered, 
and all the way back down at the far end to the little infrared enabled uh, amplifier. So this has been a bit of a range introduction to the Pro 2 Class D mini amplifiers. And if there is a scenario you've got that doesn't fit one of these ones, let us know because hey, we can always add some more to the range. Take care and thanks for your time.